If you are creating playlists or uploading videos to YouTube, at some point you're going to want to customize your channel and organize your content specifically for your audience. YouTube offers all sorts of functionality that will allow you to organize your channel the way you want to. Let's take a look. To get to the channel view, go up to your avatar and click on My Channel. From here you'll want to click on Customize Channel button. And when you get to the editing view, as you move your mouse around the page, you'll see some editing buttons. If I go this way, I can click the editing button and I can edit the links like my social media links and the channel art, the, the banner up here at the top of the page. Over here, if I click on the editing button, I can edit my channel icon, kind of an avatar sort of thing for your channel. The gear wheel over here has a number of privacy settings that you might like to tweak. Click Save when you're done. This first section here appears if you've uploaded at least one video to YouTube. You've got a For Returning Subscribers section, and this is a What to Watch Next section. You can click the pencil icon here to change that content. And for the For New Visitors tab, this is where you set up your channel trailer so that new visitors learn more about your channel. Down below here, you have the Add Section button. By clicking on the Add Section button, you can choose to display different types of content in a variety of ways. Let's pop back over to my channel to look at some of those differences. So let's start off down here at the bottom of my channel where the Add Section button is. Uh, one thing to remember is that you can only have 10 sections on your YouTube channel. Uh, this one right here, you can see I've got a playlist of videos here. If I click the Edit Pencil, you'll see that this is a single playlist in a horizontal row. So here they are laid out horizontally, and there's different ways I can lay things out. I'm going to cancel that. That's very similar to up here where I've got horizontal rows, single playlist, but then here I've got multiple playlists in a vertical layout. You can use these buttons up and down to move a section above or below other sections. Over here on the right, there's a Featured Channel module that you can edit by clicking the pencil, Edit Module. You can give it a title, and you can toss in other people's channels here. So let's go back up to the top here where we started and look at both editing social media links and your channel art. Let's start with the links. You can click on Edit Links here. This takes me to my About page, where if you scroll down here, you can see the social links. Because YouTube's going towards a new interface. It's a little funky right now, so I'm going to have to hit the Customize Channel again, which takes me to an older looking interface. But if you scroll down here, you can click the Add button to add different types of social media links. I've got Twitter, Instagram, and a few other things. You can hit the trash icon to delete them, and you can choose to overlay them on your channel art. When you're done, click Done. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and take a look at channel art. Now, Channel art's a bit complicated, but I just wanted to show you this is where you come to upload the channel art once you've created it. This button down here, how to create channel art, is actually going to tell you all about the different dimensions and the size that you'll need when you're uploading an image. If you can't quite figure it out, I encourage you to talk with a student who's good with technology or photo editing, and I bet they're able to help you sort it out. Now that you know the different functions for organizing your YouTube channel, you might want to take some time to create some channel art and otherwise bling out your channel just the way you want. If you like the video, give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to continue to get videos just like this one coming to you regularly through YouTube. And lastly, check out my website, youtubeclassroom.com, where you'll learn more about my book, 50 Ways to Use YouTube in the Classroom. Thanks for watching.